Thank you. Mm. One last question, then Kwesi will come in. Um, I think Kwesi went off again. So let's take here. Yeah. So who are you picking? Pick, pick, pick. Uh, let me, okay, give me a minute. Let me check the, the one J. I think J, there was one J. I All saw right, his J. hands up. No. Okay. Let me, yeah, J, yeah. Uh, you can meet your mic, J, please. JFX. Yeah, good evening, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Very well, yes, yeah. Sir, so, um, I'm a USD JPY trader. So, but I'm using the complaints of UXY to trade as well. So, my question is on like on USD JPY. I'm having um on four hours time frame like a other block that the mar the market is respecting to push um to push the USDJPY to the upside, like it's respecting the other block there on four hours. All right, let me just, <clears throat> let me just cut you short on UJ, okay? So somewhere last week, um, I was having a session with my students and I was breaking down USDJPY. Now, this was the last guy that I was looking at for you okay, as the sir. I hope so you can hear me. For, yes, sir. I hope you can hear me. Okay, good. So I was expecting price to give us that reaction over here on UJ to buy. But unfortunately, we had a break. Okay. Now, when we had this break, it means that now I have this guy to this guy to play with. Currently, without even going on to lower time frames, what can you see over here? You can see this beautiful break over here, which means yes, yes. we have switched. So it means that price has that tendency of making that counter trend move to the upside Up, but upside, again yeah. we have this yeah. to this guy to play with now let me show you something this is what can happen in as much as i'm saying that we can have this counter move to the downside okay this is going to be a poi all right now yeah again, i have a idea of time i've been saying that point of interest from asian highs or asian lows um they don't hold please don't fight me i know what i'm saying they hardly hold i'm not saying they are invalid they are valid but out of 10 setups, you're going to have like seven or eight of them failing, only two hold. So sometimes we can have, let's say, a counter trend move from here. Price will just come for this Asian low and maybe start a move to the upside or continue the drop. But you also have to understand mm -hmm. that before price will start that retracement, this guy must go away. Yeah. You understand? Uh -huh. Even though someone can say that we have made a switch over here, I don't have any problem with the person. But personally, I would like this guy to be taken out. Or I would like price to do something like this before I can now look for those counter trend trees to the downside. You understand? So currently okay, so. on UJ, I can say that intraday, we have switched um, you know, to a bullish move, expecting a, a retracement from the higher, a retracement of the higher time frame. But we need yeah, to make sure these guys are confirming the sales for us. And don't forget okay. this guy over here. You can mark it, okay? If I, price have, gets I in, have a demand every day, sir. Good. So if price gets in here and it gives you any switch, watch okay. the time that it is presented to you. It could be a trap. It could also hold, okay, to make that push to the upside. As to why it will be a trap at a certain point in time, I cannot mention the time to you anyway, but within a week, if anything comes up, I'm going to talk about UJ, okay? So currently, okay. UJ, intraday, we are bullish. We are just waiting for a possible retracement before the move to the upside. Or on the counter trend move, we can go ahead and break this guy over here. All right. So that is UJ for you. Sir. All right. Kwesi. Thank you, sir. All right. You're welcome. Is Kwesi here, please? Is Kwesi here? I think he went off again. Try messaging him or something. Maybe I don't know if his network, but I think twice or so he has come and gone. <laughs> he told me he was learning. <laughs> Try messaging him or something. So I think in the meantime, while you're trying to reach out to him, we can take take a uh, one more question. Uh, XI, XI. Please, if you've answered you, you can lower your hand. If you've answered you already, you can lower your hand so you're not confused. There's one XI. Let me. Uh, okay, XI. Please, you can ask your question. Hello. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, I can hear you very well. Okay, good evening, guys. Uh, thanks for this uh, session. I really appreciate. Um, you know, my question is um, a, um, a follow-up to the previous um, question the guy, the other um, speak, uh, guy asked. If I don't know if um, I don't know if um, you could put back the screen of um, the chat you just analyzed now, the one you just showed previously. Yes, EG. okay. Yes, yes, EG. Okay, so, so um, yeah, so the my my question is um, this demand right here, the demand in that pink uh, markup there, the yeah. demand there, hasn't yeah. it been taken? Like you still mark it up as a possible um, um yeah um, is, is area that one? I think your voice broke a little. Is that one? The demand has not one. Has it hasn't it been taken out by that um retracement before the push up? Is that hasn't it been taken out? Yeah, like is it still valid? Is it still valid? Yeah. This guy over here. Yes, yes. Yes, it's valid. Very valid. Are you talking about this demand, the blue zone over here? No, no, no. The pink one you were just pointing this out. One. Yes. This one is still valid. It's not even touched, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I know why you're asking me that question. <laughs> is it because you saw this guy over here? Yeah, okay. yes. Good. Now, another thing is this. This is a tip. I'm not supposed to say this, but this is a tip. True mitigations do not happen here, okay? <laughs> Please, this will be like a, a little souvenir for you guys. When the market is doing this, okay? Anything, if there's an order block over here, my students know this. If there's an order block over here eh, and price does this, this is not the mitigation. This is not a true mitigation. True mitigation is always happening on the second phase. That is why sometimes you are going to say, oh, other block over here has been mitigated. This one has imbalance or whatsoever and price will come for you nicely and move away. This is basic inducement. This is basic smart money inducement. You understand what I'm trying to say? So this yeah. is not a true mitigation. True mitigation is always, they happen on the second phase, okay? They happen like when price does one, two. That is when the true mitigation happens. So this one is still fresh. It hasn't been mitigated yet. And then in respect, in respect to that, there's <laughs> something called the candlestick structure and an actual price action structure. Okay. Okay. Consider all of your immediate rebalances. Consider all of your immediate breakout and tap, breakout and tap on a single line. That is to say, if price is bullish, right? And this bullish leg does all the breakout and tap, push up, tap back, push up, tap back week to week. That is candlestick structure. Okay, those are the candlesticks trying to ensure that we don't have inefficiencies. They will continue with all of that delivery. That is not the retest. That is not the correction. That is not the mitigation. That is not, no, none of those that happen, like he said. Price has to now come back for actual structural delivery. Okay. You understand that? Okay. So yeah. what you have happen with immediate rebalancing, price must always revisit those areas. And then understand that when you say order block, your order block is not your last bullish candle or your last bearish candle before a bullish run. Okay, please. It's one of the that... it's, it's on that point again. <laughs> the order block is it's not the last bullish candle before a bearish run or the last bearish candle before a bullish run. That's not what an order block is. Okay. On this, uh, let me share my screen, please, very fast. Let's see yes. you, Jay. Okay. I didn't want to talk on this call. You guys want to make me talk. Yeah. Uh, I don't like okay. <laughs> so, uh, please, uh, can somebody... How do I use stop sharing? Please. Okay, okay, yeah. Just, just, yeah, just, sure. just, stop, yeah, just stop sharing. Let me see. I think I can still share while you are on. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Next... All right, good. Can you guys see my screen now? Yeah, I can see your screen. All right, good. Let me just mark out something very fast. Uh... So we can, we don't take all the time. So we have USD JPY, right? USD, sorry, USD JPY. Uh, FXCM, okay, good. Let me just explain something very quickly for you guys. Understand what an, in case I don't get to say anything on this call, understand what an order block is. So you don't, uh, we have, we have learned that smart money. Smart money that has been washed and mixed with so many different concepts. And uh, so, in our bid to get so much simplicity, we take away the very essence of what the concept holds. And then at the end of the day, we begin to fight with what the concept is not. An order block 
write it down if you must, is simply a change in the state of delivery. An order block is simply a change in the state of delivery. What do I mean by change in the state of delivery? Price is running into your point of interest or your particular liquidity level looking like this. All of a sudden we have this. This young man here is responsible for the change. What is the delivery? The delivery is that these highs, we are protected, bearish delivery. Highs remain protected. We got to a point we are supposed to bet this, but that never happened. That never happened, okay? Because that never happened, price came there reverse and then cleared this high. Inside of this leg, this is your order block, the young man responsible for the change in state of delivery. If you must refine the order block in this way, then refine that order block and look for the midpoint because the order block itself as a range point of interest, like Ross earlier said, has its own discount and premium. If you want to get that, then you can look for the 50% points or below 50% points to look for your, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, refinements or whatever you want to look out for. So if you look at this leg here, and then we try to take that into, okay, let's see the one hour time frame. I thought I saw something there that was interesting for me. Okay, if you look at the one hour time frame after this break that happened, okay, good. So get on the line chart possibly, see the delivery, right? See the delivery. What is the delivery inside of this area? You can see that it's obvious. This high, this high, the next high dump, aggressively change the area. This is your order block from this low to this point. Okay, so go back to your candlestick if you must. If you want to refine that, get your points, right? And then get the lows, try to get the 50% of the area and then mark that out. If price must come back into that, you'll see that that area would obviously tally with something else on the lower time frame that just makes sense. Okay, so you may want to push that down into a 15 minutes time frame and see what is resting into that area. Okay, because uh, a, sniped, a sniped order block a sniped order block on your higher time frame is a breaker block on your lower time frame. A sniped order block on your higher time frame is a breaker block on your lower time frame. It means that this was the origin we had on the high. Okay, price can get to your four hour. Let me go back there. Let me go back there. Price can get to the four hour. Was it the four hour I marked or the one hour where I had those journals? One hour, right? Okay, price can, yes, nice. Price can get to the one hour and then work with this point here. The, the whole of this is your order block. We respect the order block theory. Refine to the midpoint, the discount pricing of the order block. Price can get to this point and decide to work with this level. And then you see we very fine delivery because we have good inducements not into these lows, which is a very possible delivery. Okay, why is this a very valid inducement? It's because other traders who would want to buy would see this as another valid area of what? Or that block because of what they have been taught. The last bearish candle because before bullish one. So they want to interact with this area. So we have liquidity resting below, stop losses and all of that could be trapped and then work with this as a slight order block on your higher time frame. But if price decides to go lower or beyond that, we could see a refinement from your M15 that would now give us a better view of what lies below that point, okay? Yes. So can you see what the better play gives us if you want to scroll down again and see the delivery line charts? So can you see highs protected, highs protected, highs protected. This was the last high, was supposed to make a new low. Price did this and then raised, okay, continues to run below. So it means run above rather. So it means price can still come here, just like he has said, to mess with these points here. And then this young man, for my guys who understand how I see inducement, responsible for the shift of this momentum, this young man can still, has a very high chance to be fucked with. Sorry, forgive my English. Okay, so we can see this happen or, Better still, mark all of these areas as your potential area if you're looking for the extreme to work with. And then the only essence, the only reason why price should come to an extreme to mitigate the extreme for money transfer is for cases of reversals, okay? The first essence of a money transfer is to instill reversal, okay? There is no need for money transfer, obviously, if we are continuing. There will not be need for money transfer if we are continuing. So yes, if price comes here and give a good narrative, it makes a lot of sense to begin to see that we are done with the bearish profile. Like uh, for those of you who are ICT students and then want to see the bullish profile continue. Okay. okay. Or market maker sell model and market maker buy model. All of those things. All right. Thank you, brother. So Kwesi is in. Okay. Um, okay. I think.